Let's continue with some more examples of block, box plots and examining skewness. Here are four examples. I've drawn these in the vertical direction. That should um, translate into a number line that goes from the bottom up. So just like the low numbers are on the left of the number line, the high numbers are on the right side of the number line, we can continue with the interpretation that we were using before. So beginning in the, well, from the first example, within the interquartile range, we see that the lower or left side of, or the left quartile is much more spread out than the right one. So this indicates that there is left skewness in the interquartile range. Looking at the whiskers, we see that the left whisker is about the same as the right whisker, maybe a little longer. So we'll say that the whiskers are left skewed. Overall then, the distribution would be left skewed. Let's look at the second one. Within the interquartile range, we see that the lower or the left quartile is much more spread out than the upper or the right one. So this indicates, again, we have left skewness in the interquartile range. Now let's look at the whiskers. In the whiskers, we see that the right is much more spread out than the left or lower quartile. This tells us that we have right skewness. Now, how do we reconcile this? Well, it's not that hard since the left skewness within the interquartile range is about the same as the right skewness of the whiskers. Since these pretty much would cancel each other in the overall distribution, we would say the overall distribution is in fact symmetric. The next example, looking at the interquartile range, it appears that the right or upper quartile is much more spread out than the lower or left quartile, so this is going to be right skewed inside the box or the interquartile range. However, in the whiskers, what we see is that there is just as much spread, I intended to make this spread out, the whiskers, as uh, on the left as it is on the right, so that's actually symmetric outside. So since it's symmetric outside and right skewed inside, the box, we are going to go with the right skewness of the overall distribution as the best description. And finally, we begin with the examination of the interquartile range and we see that in the interquartile range it appears that the distribution is right skewed. Looking at the whiskers, however, there's a long left skew on the outside whiskers. So we will say that the whiskers are left skewed. All right, now how do we reconcile this? Since the left skewness is much longer then the right skewness inside the interquartile range, we'd say that overall the distribution is left skewed.